Over the last several, however long, the new measure tool has been in NX, I've probably gotten more questions about this than just about anything else. Now, I'm going to do a series here, and I'm going to start out with just measure basics. So you're going to see several videos pop up. Now, the first measure that I want to talk about is I'm going to click with my mouse button one, and there's my measure comes up and gives me my measure menu. I'm going to talk about object to measure and just leave it at object for now. And as I do a quick scan through the menu, it's important to pay attention to what the menu is telling you. Not what you think it says, not what you hope it says, but what is the menu telling you? So right now, object to measure. Well, I'm gonna pick, start out with this magenta line. Now, I wanna to measure to another object. And it's as simple as picking the next line. Now, once I pick it, in this instance, nothing happened. We were all expecting to see a measurement magically pop up, right? Because I just picked two objects. I just want to see a measurement. Well, when I look down at my result filter, down here about halfway on the menu, you'll see that I have several result Types. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven result types. Right now it's measuring a body. Do either one of these look like a body? No. Well, what's the met result filter type? The first one is a distance. So if I select that, I'm going to de deselect this because uh, you know it's not doing anything for me. It's going to give me my minimum distance between these two objects. So if you go into measure and do not see the measure pop up, there are a slew of reasons that it can possibly be. One of them is your result filter. Maybe you have the incorrect things selected, right? There's um, other things, other types of measurements, like if you wanted to measure along a direction, et cetera, the other steps that you have to go through. There are also preferences for the measurement. Right, measurement, measure extremes, measure distance, you know, what do I want to see? So you may not have the correct preference set up to see the measurement, even if you have your result filter set up correctly. So look at what the menu says. It's a great tool. It's really an incredibly powerful tool, but you have to know what the tool is asking for, like anything else. So I wanted just a simple measure distance minimum. And I, if I select OK right now, it's going to keep the associative measurement and it's going to display the annotation. If I want to, I can create the measurement I can fix it at that timestamp, et cetera, et cetera. So I have a bunch of options. So at this point, if I say create geometry, select OK, there's my measurement. There's the geometry that it generated. Now, if I go into this spline, I'm going to right mouse click on it. I'm going to go edit parameters. And I'm just going to grab it and move this down a little bit. Select OK. The measurement just updated. OK. Now, this is just simply a point to point measurement. That's all it is. This is a line. So in this case, it looks like it's a perpendicular measurement, but it really isn't. It's just a line, okay? But as you see, I've got my measurement here. I've got my line associated. So if I double click on that line, you'll notice it takes me back to the measurement, okay? If I wanted to hide that line, it's a separate entity. It's inextricably linked to the measurement. So if I hide the line, you'll notice the line goes away. If I wanted to hide the dimension, I can do that. Now, if I show that, it shows both the line and the dimension. Okay. So that's the very, very basics of measurement. 